Kelly Green, product manager for XLR Boost and Micro Boost. And today I'm gonna to show you some great features on our brand new 19 XLRE. And now we're on the inside of the 19 XLRE, brand new for model year 23 for XLR Boost and Micro Boost. Um, what makes this floor plan great, just like that we're the uh, only producer of toy haulers, that's all we make, we focus on toy haulers. So once again, the first feature that I wanna point out for model year 23 is we actually made the uh, the runway wider. So coming off of your, your countertop all the way to your door side sidewall, you are now 78 and a half inches uh, across. So uh, what does that mean? That means that you got more room when you're loading your wider toys and they keep getting wider and wider. Um, I keep getting wider and wider, so we keep getting wider and wider. So, but what we didn't, we didn't sacrifice is uh, you still get this great kitchen and countertop space, residential faucet, like some of our competitors have gone to, to smaller faucets to try to achieve that distance on the inside. 27 feet, one inch, so very compact. 5,400 pounds dry, so very light, half ton towable. So what we're gonna do is show you these great features and we're gonna go ahead and start where we traditionally do. Uh, the greatest feature of all is the uh, ramp on the back. So every XLR, whether it be a travel trailer or a fifth wheel, comes with a, a foldable table. So you're always gonna have a, a table to eat on or entertain. It's a foldable leg table, so you can move that uh, in and out the, the unit. Um, it's light, so you can pick it up and move it around. Uh, I know we've showed these decks every uh, bit on every video, but we're gonna go ahead and show it again. You just need to remember to uh, pop it out. If you can't, it's got a sticker on it to remind you that you got a, a button that you gotta push. That's what helps it telescope out. Why does it telescope? It's so that we could actually layer and actually take less of your distance on your beachfront property in your garage so that you can actually uh, get more loading uh, accomplished when you're putting in the toys. So both sides have that feature. Go ahead and clip that in, bring over your other door, slide it in, bring your safety bar across, and now you've got what we call a party deck back here and you've got your fencing. Um, so you can put some tables out here, put some chairs out here. Um, what is it rated for, Kelly? It's rated for 1,500 pounds when you're up in the, the patio deck. When you bring all those down, loosen them, take your cables off and drop it down to bring your toys in, you're at 3,000 pounds or 1,000 pounds per tire. So keep that in mind. If for some reason you ever forget, um, Lippert is kind enough to put a, a sticker also on the uh, backside of the ramp door. Um, one thing I think that we don't always cover, but because this is our third year into it, we are uh, actually, um, weatherproof on our ramp door also. You'll see a sticker when it's up on the, the back door that talks about it being uh, weatherproof and uh, waterproof. What does that mean? It means every component that Lippert puts in that door is actually uh, non-absorbent to water. So it's not gonna rust out, it's not going to rot out, it's not going to mold. It's got weep holes in, in the bottom and it allows that water to actually flow all the way through. So if you're getting a, a light sprinkle or a light rain, you don't have to rush around and bring in your fencing and flip up your, your door. Your door is is actually now made to take that and actually drain that that water out without doing any damage to it so moving forward we're showing the uh, standard screen wall tent wall so you actually have uh, a wall that magnets onto your hoop uh, keeps those bugs out it's got a zipper in the middle for you to be able to climb in and out um, and uh, we do put on a blue LED that we'll cover on the exterior, but we use blue because blue doesn't attract as uh, many bugs. So moving on the inside, the, the amenities of the uh, 19 XLRE, um, first are the 5,000 pound D-rings. So you see the, the D-rings are, are much beefier, you know, one single piece welded together, um, tested at 5,000 pounds. A lot of our competitors are 2,500 pounds. Um, we feel that you're using expensive toys and we wanna give you the, the best securement system that you can. So we go with uh, 5,000 pounds. The garage is weighted for, for 2,000 pounds. So you got plenty of D-rings to be able to put a couple bikes in here or a uh, golf cart or a kayak or whatever it is that you wanna take with you. You got plenty of space in the 19 LRLE. Um, one of the great features that uh, you can see here too is also the, uh, the dual sofas because mainly uh, 
we look at this being either a single couple or a very small uh, family with uh, just one or two toys that they're taking with them. So you've got plenty of seating area for uh, gathering and just uh, chilling out with the TV directly uh, across from you, the, the radio, a nice fireplace back here that uh, also kicks out 5,000 BTU of uh, heat. You've got your converter that is also lithium battery, glass mat, um, capability, your stainless steel residential sink, residential faucet, uh, full complement of uh, appliances in your kitchen. So we're not cheating with uh, not giving you an oven. You got a 17 inch oven. You've got your three burner cooktop with the, the glass for added uh, countertop space. Uh, when the gas is actually flowing, the blue lights will turn to red lights, which is a, a nice safety feature. Um, you got a range to suck out all of those uh, elements while you're cooking and, and throw them to the outside. You got a 0.9 microwave for, for all your heating and reheating. Uh, and then we also stepped it up this year with our, our new Moab interior, which is the, the lighter wood, the, uh, the nice backsplash, uh, lighter linoleum, but then contrasted really nicely with the, uh, the black hardware and the uh, glass in the uh, upper kitchen cabinets. So um, one thing that I have sitting over here that I don't wanna, don't wanna miss is you get a TV prep on every micro boost. So you got your hookups and then you got your back plate. So you can go to Walmart and Target that can beat me in pricing on TVs. So I don't want to gouge you on TVs and you can get whatever size that you want. But also on the outside, when we're glance over it, this is what your monitor panel that will go in your truck will look like with your tire pressure monitoring system. And we'll talk more about that on the exterior, but wanted to, to get a quick shot of that on the inside. Um, just real quick, I know that we have done this before, but just so that you know, each one of these also lay down and make into a bed. And then in the same, they'll actually fold up against the wall and strap up for your travel position so you can secure them. And then for some reason, if you actually need more room than that to get your toy by, um, we also put each one of these on a bracket with wing nuts and you can spin off those four wing nuts and you can actually move those and set them over here out of your alleyway if you need the, the full width in regards to, to loading your toys. So very, very versatile, very functional. Um, one of the features that, that a lot of my competition doesn't have is that once they're on the wall, they're, they're on the wall and they're kind of in the way. So <clears throat> moving forward um, for model year 23, we did add uh, some mood lighting. So you've got a, a switch that if you're in here watching TV, but you still want some directional traffic on the floor so that if it's dark, you can throw out that, that light mood lighting in the tow kick down there. Um, when we talk about the uh, feature of appliances, we didn't talk about the 10 cubic foot 12 volt DC refrigerator. But what's very nice about that not being a gas electric is it actually allows it to be deeper. That's why it's a, a bigger refrigerator. It cools down uh, much faster than the traditional um, gas electric and uh, also has a cool off the grid mode so that if you're at night and you don't want to listen to the compressor, you can throw it to uh, off the grid and it just basically becomes a, a cooler. Further moving forward um, this year is our roller blackout shades. So very nice feature over the day night shades. So an upgrade for this year, we're very happy about them. The Ram air vents that we talked about before, you got one on the very back, one on the top. You can uh, pop off the, the rubber band, open those up. Anything that you have uh, Oprah containment with fuel or uh, maybe an older generation vehicle that's uh, vaping some, some fumes, you open that up when you're going up and down the road, it cycles all of it out and keeps that smell from building up in your unit while you're going up and down the road. Safety feature in the fire extinguisher, again, somewhat in, a, in our price point, you don't see this always, but we're giving you a nice monitor panel. All your switches are labeled, tells you uh, where everything is, has a water pump switch that actually goes blue, tells you that your water pump's on, if you are not able to hear it, which I can already hear it humming. Um, nice uh, 28 inch uh, entry door. And then here, this feature right here in this floor plan specifically, when we're going against our competition is they don't have a pantry. So that was one thing that, that was a must when we came in and, and designed this floor plan is that we wanted to have just a huge 
pantry for you so that when we're thinking that small families are going with kids, we know that you want to pack a lot of snacks, a lot of food, a lot of cereal boxes. So we gave you an area to, to be able to store that. Moving into uh, the wall here uh, is one of our standard features that we love is our 200 watt solar panel that's up on the, the roof. We give you a 30 amp monitor. What's, uh, what's good about this, just like I said, that the converter is also uh, capable of handling lithium batteries. So is your solar panel. So you've got a, a mode that you can actually switch between batteries and I wanna make sure in my trifocals that I put it back on glass mat because we put glass mat as a, a standard on that. And that's really just a demo battery that we put up on the front for the dealers to be able to run the lights and the awning and display it for you folks out in the uh, the dealer network so that they don't have to keep running and, and grabbing battery packs. So I uh, greatly encourage you to upgrade that battery with your dealer when you make your purchase and then you can decide whether you want um, what style of battery you want, but know that your solar panel is capable of charging a lithium battery and so is your uh, converter. Um, digital thermostat for the 15K standard air conditioner that comes on uh, on this micro boost. So moving forward to the bathroom, uh, the bathroom comes with a full uh, base and shower enclosure, shower curtain, um, skylight for uh, distance. You got plenty of, of room that you don't have to bend over to, to wash and I've got plenty of room to, to maneuver around. You still got your stainless steel sink like in every uh, XLR micro boost and, and boost. Um, nice medicine cabinet, um, nice storage in your uh, your pantry for your toiletries and plenty of space to uh, do your business on the toilet being uh, turned. This one might be a tough one on this floor plan, but another one of our uh, great features here is the uh, tankless water heater in here is where your control will be we call it the football and I always sell it as a, a sleep number bed so if I want my temperature coming out of the hot spigot at 108 I can set it right at 108 I don't have to mix the hot water and the cold water I just turn on hot and 108 degree water is coming out if I want to run that all the way up to 124 I can crank it all the way up to 124 and come out looking like a lobster but the, the two great benefits on that, as long as you have a water source and you have LP, you've got hot water and you're not actually wasting any water uh, mixing and trying to come up to the desired temperature that you have. You just figure out what your number is, set it and go. So Furion tankless uh, water heater, 66,000 BTUs of uh, water coming at you. Three panel door, um, great feature. Gives it a little bit more of an upgraded look on the inside. You got a privacy bar, just cause you've got a, a privacy curtain to, to block off your area up on your 60 by 80 bed in the front. But we also try to take a step up over the competition in this uh, floor plan also. Usually you would only get one short ward and, uh, and no drawers in this, uh, in this model for our competition. But we gave you overheads all the way across for storage. We gave you a short ward here. We gave you some shoe storage, two drawers and a whole nother short ward um, in the corner here on the 19 XLRE. We're now on the exterior of the 19 XLRE and we're gonna start on the front where we put on our traditional power tongue jack. So no having to, to manually crank. If for some reason you do have a power failure though, you do actually have a cap up here. You just pop that off. You've got a uh, crank handle that you can put in there and you can still crank that uh, handle manually. I will tell you this, it's a whole lot easier too if you take the negative power wire off of it while you're cranking so that it doesn't work like a, a generator correcting electricity you know crank a whole lot easier rather than cranking against it it's got a light that's on the front and both up and down so and one other feature that we probably don't give enough kudos to is we are one of the only manufacturers that actually put a, a pigtail cord both on our fifth wheels and on our travel trailers so that you can actually just pop your cord in there and it doesn't sit there and sit in the mud and rust all up on you and then you're wondering why it doesn't marry up to your truck and your lights aren't working. So one of those other step up features that we give you here at, at XLR. So you got a very sleek colored metal front, uh, badging and decaling. Moving on to the outside, You've got a very nice storage. You've got your uh, magnet to hold your door up so it's not smacking at you in the head. But pass through storage all the way through underneath that bed area that we showed you on the interior. So cubic space feet, we try to give you the most storage in this price point. 
Um, tinted windows for model year 23. So big step up for XLR2. I'm spending a little bit more money because economic conditions where we're charging you a little bit more. We're trying to give you all those little extra features and uh, to uh, make sure that you're getting the most bang and value for your buck on what you're spending, let alone that it also helps on your, your heating and, and cooling and just your general privacy on the inside of your unit. Still going with the uh, Solera uh, Edge awning. So the great features, we always talk about it. One, that it's power. Two, that we have two LEDs that are actually built into the arm. So that's actually drawing those blue lights away from where you're sitting and entertaining. So even if the, the few bugs that it does draw, they're drawing them away from you, not uh, when they have them in the, the bar up against the coach, which draws it to you and where you're entertaining. And if for some reason that you ever have a, a power failure or 12 volt or the motor goes out on the top of the, just like you had on your, your jack on the front, on the uh, leading power arm on your awning, you've got a grommet there that you take a 7 16 um, socket, put it on your cordless drill, and you can actually run your awning me mechanically in and out, and it'll mechanically stay there where you don't actually have to wrap or bungee it to get from point A to, to point B and feel like you're, you're stuck on your camping trip. Um, all micro boosts come with a uh, standard crank down jack, so that allows you basically to, to level in all four corners independently. Uh, along with down here, if we get really low, we can see the uh, LP gas quick connect is also down here. So if you want to hook up your own grill or uh, just another heating source on the outside, you have access to a uh, tie into the two 20 pound bottles that are up on the front, uh, giving gas to an accessory. Um, moving down, we're going to talk about the entry door. Entry door is friction hinge. So built into these hinges is friction so up to 15 to, to 20 miles per hour if a, a storm kicks up the doors not going to slam up against your your sidewall um, on our uh, aluminum sided units we do also take another precaution we actually put a rubber bumper on there so that I will stop your door from creasing uh, your metal when it comes all the way in also um, I love demoing these steps these steps have come uh, such a far way so these are our sure steps by Moride um, this year, we upgraded to a uh, laser etched blue boost in the, the step well area, coming uh, all the way up. What's beauty about these, if for some reason you wanted to load a toy a little bit further past your steps, it actually comes with these pins and the hinges on the inside that you can pull both those pinches and actually just lift this step all the way out and put it wherever you want it. When you get to your campsite, you put it right back into the hinge system. You put your pins back in and you're ready to go. You pull just this nice lever here. That's what holds it into the, into the frame. Um, and then coming down for this year, they actually build in these nice tabs rather than the, the pins that you used to have to fight with and wrestle it on your, your shoulder. You just got this pin and it slides back and forth, locks into place. So on uneven terrain, you've got a very quick and easy adjustable step. And then they're very sturdy. So I'm probably like a slim 200, maybe, maybe 205. So steps can put up with a, a lot of weight. Um, moving on, when you come to uh, just some of our, our badging, again, we're on the 19 XLRE this morning, but all of our units that come out of our Butler, Indiana facility have uh, what we call residential spray foam. So traditionally, you used to have a uh, fiberglass rolled product in the sidewalls. Now in the sidewalls, we actually have the um, two-part composite that uh, gives you a couple things. One, it uh, gives you more coverage, so you're not depending on a, a rolled, tucked-in piece. It gives you a sound barrier because it's actually in every crevice when we spray that, that spray foam. And it also uh, doesn't soak up water. So if for some reason you, you do have a leak in, in your sidewall, you're not getting a whole bunch of, of water saturation and mold build up there from that rolled insulation product. So we do that in the sidewalls and we also do that, that in the roof. Um, and that's part of our climate control package. Uh, on the outside moving on, we've got a, a nice uh, HDMI radio, uh, dual zone, 
Um, so you got two speakers on the inside, two speakers on the outside. You got a HDMI input that you can put on there and you can Bluetooth to it. So you can do your jams, watch your videos and do multiple things with that, that pretty powerful uh, little head unit in there. But anyway, so zone one's on the inside with two speakers, uh, zone two's on the outside with two speakers. Both are uh, marine grade speakers. So you don't have to worry about the, you know, the elements getting on there. They're, uh, they're made to, to take those those elements. Um, just like we talked about TV prep on the inside, you got a TV prep on the outside. So yeah, on this unit, being that it's only 27 feet, one inches, you've got one TV prep that's in the back for uh, the couch viewing. You had a TV prep that's on the uh, door side wall on the opposite. So where you're laying in bed, you can look directly at the TV. And then if you're outside tailgating or, or just watching your favorite show, you've got the ability to take one of those TVs from the inside and take it out here and pop it on the outside also. Um, I'm gonna take the time now, because normally I just rant and, and rave and I'm not gonna take my normal 15 minutes talking about the uh, Norco NHG frame, but one reason for buying an XLR boost and, and should probably be your number one reason is one, we only build toy haulers and we are the, uh, the number one building toy hauler in our price segment. Number two, it's because of the frame that we're using. Our frame is uh, by far more superior and better than our competitors. Um, just the mere fact that, one, it's engineered to every floor plan, so it's not just spit out I-beam to a, a certain weight. We give them the floor plan, they actually engineer that frame directly to that floor plan. So no cutting through uh, cross members to get plumbing, no uh, moving things around for holding tanks. It's set for that floor plan and, and we're not modifying it any to, uh, to make it work. Um, also, there's like no fillers, like a hot dogs, you know, have a, a bunch of fillers and that's how they keep the, we pay a little bit more for our frame, but they're very choosy about the alloys and the materials that goes into to their steel. And that's what we love about them. They build them in actual components. So they come in in pieces, just like a, a locomotive or a train or a semi tractor trailer is built. It's used a, a fastener in the industry. That's one of the best fasteners called a huck bolt. So that is actually a fancy word for a very expensive rivet that actually has tremendous strength that holds all that components together and makes one of the sturdiest, best frames in the industry. I always ask you to come down because this is one, one litmus test in regards to our frames to everybody else, that when you look at this spring hanger coming down and you look at it compared to our competition and how much actual material is there and strength and beefiness in it compared to just a little strap that comes off of an I-beam on our competition, that's why XLR is one of the best. Um, we don't cut corners and we definitely know how you're gonna use them and we want them to hold up for years for, for your enjoyment. Um, while we're down here on the tires, um, I showed you the monitor panel on the inside, but every tire is gonna have a tire pressure monitoring system cap showing you that it has uh, TPMS. So what does that mean? It means that it's not just the uh, system where you hook it onto this valve stem on the outside and then it monitors. It actually has the bands that comes right from the, uh, the vendor that supplies our tires with the, the company that we've partnered with, TST. So they have a, a partnership together. So they put the bands right in it before we even put them on your, your unit. So it's actually a very solid system that senses not both your tire pressure or your uh, PSI, but it's also sensing the, the heat on it. So even a catastrophic failure, say that you accidentally curbed it and you didn't know it, or you pulled into a gas station and it, and it tweaked your, your unit spindle and you don't know about it, and the tire starts heating up. Well, before that tire actually blows out on you, the tire pressure monitoring system is actually gonna alert you and let you know that. So uh, again, every year we try to step up our safety for you, and that's another one of those items this year that we thought was, uh, was a good addition to our model year 23. So tire pressure monitoring system uh, for model year 23 for you. Uh, moving back, um, 
this is always like one of our features that one we put it on there yes because we do want your pets to be secure and have a place to hook up and be underneath the awning or be able to go underneath the uh, the unit and have protection if you're out and about in the campground but it's also a, a little bit of a stab that we take against our competition because the 5,000 pound d-rings that we put on the inside that we think that everybody should be using for your toys this uh, 2,500 pound d-ring that's not welded all the way through is what our competition is using for you so there you go moving moving around to the back side another nice little logoed um, etching that uh, more I did for us so getting our name out there and in, in the the color blue uh, the LED that I talked about on the back ramp uh, on the inside of the video just so less bugs give you some you know light out here when you're out here in chairs and chilling out and having a nice uh, evening maybe in the fall if you look a little bit above that it might be a little bit dark but you can see the the furion uh, camera backup prep that's a uh, a feature that is prepped that if you want to put a, a camera to help you assist in campgrounds a uh, uh, backing up you can uh, buy that through your dealership the uh, wires and everything are already there you just pop four screws out uh, hook up the the two wires put the four screws back in with the camera link it to your uh, monitor panel and you're you're ready to go um, just a reminder, so 1,500 pounds when it's up in this patio, you pull these two pins, make sure that your deck's loose, lower your ramp door, 3,000 pounds or 1,000 pounds per tire is what you've got when you're, when you're in the, the loading. Another great feature on uh, XLR Boost and uh, XLR is uh, a lot of our competition just uses a uh, cold uh, coil for your shower on the outside. We actually give you a, a full shower two handles with uh, hot and cold so you can uh, basically wash off all your mud and your your grime outside before you even bring it on the inside of your unit and not have to do it in uh, frigid temperatures like some of our competition um, 30 amp power cord on this travel trailer um, cable satellite hookups so when you're in the park you got the ability to, to hook up to both of those if those are available um, and then we talk about our, our water hoses and our different hookups here. So when you're dry camping or you're just in transit and you want a little bit of water to be able to use the, uh, the toiletries or the, the sink, this is how you would fill your fresh water fill through this. Um, always listen for uh, sounds and gurgles and uh, anything that's coming out of the, the overflow because at that point in time, yes, the tank is full when you feel the, uh, the overflow pouring on the ground and you do need to stop filling it with water because you can overfill your water tank if you are not. So do not start filling that and just walk away from it for hours. In regards to the city water connection, you don't ever know what pressures you might be getting out of uh, a well or out of a city tower. They vary from, from location to location, from state to state. So we recommend that you put at least a 40 PSI or less water regulator between the hose and this hookup so that it actually regulates that PSI. We, we test all the way up to 80 um, and then we test again at 40, but uh, we certainly do not recommend that you run higher than 40 PSI at any time through your, through your city water lines. So easy thing to remember, if you don't want to run your water pump, you need to have a city water connection or a city water connection source. If you're going to be running your water pump and you're not going to have access to a, to a hose or anywhere, you're going to want to fill your, your fresh water tank. And then to your black tank flush, which uh, gets to the nitty gritty of it, um, if for some reasons you ever have any solids or toilet paper or anything that's clogging up your probes and not letting your monitor panel read correctly, you hook that same uh, water hose up that, that has a backflow preventer on the backside so none of your sewage or any of your nastiness is coming back into your hose, but it's forcing that water in through a wand and it's knocking any of that nastiness off of those probes so that your monitor panel is back up and reading the way that it should correctly. Moving on, we talked about the uh, football on the inside for the uh, tankless water heater. This is what your tankless water heater looks like on the outside. And if for some reason you've got it set at uh, 108 and you might be out, let's just say you went to uh, Mohab in Utah and your elevation is starting to get up or you went to Flagstaff in Arizona and your elevation is, is up, it does actually have a valve inside this uh, tankless water heater that shows you a nice little um, 
like cyclone drawing of thin to, to thicker, uh, you might have to jump in here and actually increase the, the flow of your gas pressure just to be able to create those, create those temps and high temperatures on the inside. So don't fret if for some reason you're out camping and all of a sudden 108 doesn't necessarily feel like 108. You might want to come out here and just uh, adjust your gas flow a little bit and, and get that back into the, the temperature and the comfort that, that you want. But it's one of those great features that it does give you the ability to be able to adjust that on, on different platforms and different elevations. Um, on this micro boost, it has a uh, 20,000 BTU furnace. We didn't talk about that, but all those ducts are actually in the cabinets on, on the inside. All your AC ducting is through the, the ducts, um, ducted all the way throughout the, uh, the ceiling on the inside, and these are at the floor level. So the last thing that we always talk about um, is pretty intuitive, but a lot of you guys are, are first time campers, so we'll, we'll go ahead and go over. You've got one central hookup for your hose that comes out for your, your waste. Um, the smaller tube, which is an inch and a half, is always your gray water, so that's gonna be like your sink and your shower. Um, the three inch tube that is on the other side is for your uh, toilet and your solids. Um, we always recommend that you pull the gate for your three inch first to get those solids and everything moving. And then when it is done, you pull your gate for your inch and a half and let the free flowing water actually wash everything out and down through your tube and you'll have a, a lot greater dump experience rather than doing it the, uh, the opposite way. So it makes for a, a lot of cleanup in your tube. Do it the way that I just told you and it'll make, uh, make a much more pleasant experience out of a bad experience. Thank you for walking through our 19 XLRE today. And for more of our great products, go out to our website at forestriverinc.com forward slash XLR. Happy camping.